I like that. That was Dominic Garcia reporting. That was a cool little story. Mm -hmm. If you want your kids to do well at school, a good breakfast and lunch will certainly help. A meal that's both nutritious and delicious is even better because you know they'll eat it. Court is standing by with our guests to tell us how we can make it happen. Yes, yeah, some yummy stuff, some colorful stuff. We've got uh, Beth Goodrich here, a uh, registered dietitian with Kaiser. So you're talking about getting the kids off to a good start. It's going to keep them sustained for the whole day, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So good nutrition is so important. Mm -hmm. So we want to give them the nutrients they need to do better in school and um, there's lots of studies that show that kids who have breakfast do better in school better on tests yes same for adults right mm -hmm. we're just big kids mm -hmm. so it's important that dads and moms we get ourselves off to a good and day. if we set a good example the kids are more likely to follow so let's start uh, with the superfoods yeah so what we have here are some superfoods now there's many different superfoods but these are just uh, some examples so what we have are our brightly colored berries they're full of antioxidants mm -hmm. good stuff fiber Think about this. Color is Mother Nature's way of saying, I'm really good for you. Okay. So the more color you can get in your fruits and vegetables, the better. Um, we've got some uh, a mixed mixed nuts, which are really good. So easy they've got snacks. easy snack, yeah. easy to put in a baggie for the kids, a good heart healthy fat to keep you feeling full. Um, eggs, always super easy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's easy to hard boil them. Easy and protein. Easy protein. Yeah. Um, so those are always great. You can do lots of things. We'll show you in a minute what okay. you can do with those eggs. Um, avocados, super great. So Love um, avocados. Yeah, technically a fruit. Some yeah, people don't know it's that. Got a, it's yeah. got a seed, so it's a fruit. It's a fruit. Mm -hmm. So, um, but it has some good plant-based fat. And the nice thing about avocados is they help you feel full throughout the rest okay. of the day. Okay. Um, so sometimes we eat uh, maybe not enough or not the right things, and we get hungry like yeah. within an hour after a meal. So it's good to add some avocado, which I'll show you we do later. Um, whole grain. So okay. it's super important. You know, we want to steer clear of the white, refined. Mm -hmm. When you have the whole grain, you've got the fiber. Okay. You've got the protein. You've got iron, B vitamins. So, you know, white, refined is just eh. It's kind of yeah. nutritionally eh. It's just taking up space for no reason. Right. Uh, so you want to get the most bang for your buck. Okay. So whole grains as often as you can. Uh, we have some Greek yogurt here, which is great. You can mix in with the berries sure. for a real quick and easy breakfast. And some garbanzos some and Some beans. beans. Yeah. Beans. beans are an interesting food because they have both carbohydrate and okay. they have protein. So okay. they've got some natural sugar and some protein to kind of, again, time release yes. and help you feel fuller longer. Okay, so let's put them into practice. Yeah. Just a little under a minute left. Now, what do you got yes. over here? Oh, we've got so much. We have a big buffet for everyone. So, <laughs> um, so these are some quick and easy breakfast ideas. The most important thing about breakfast is eating it. So we got to get okay. the kiddos up early mm -hmm. so we get it in their system. Um, so this is like a little mini quiche I made in a muffin tin. So you can make easy. them ahead of time. Easy. Just pop it out. Off you go, kids. Um, have an English muffin with some peanut butter, so yeah. we're including that plant-based fat with some with some fruit. Here's the interesting thing: our brains need sugar, okay, glucose. Yes. So it's important to include things that break down into sugar, right? Some good healthy plant-based sources: bananas, like fruits, whole grains, things like that, mm -hmm. milk. We have um, uh, in a mug here. We have some um, oats. Well, this is what I made last night. Um, oh, that's just, cool. Yeah, it, it, there's no cooking involved. It was just squishing up oats and kids um, love to do stuff yeah, like that too. Yeah, and then you just let it chill, and yeah. it makes really great granola. So we use that in our little mug to go, where you've got Greek yogurt and fruit. Easy peasy. And just um, a few seconds left. You've got oh, lots of yes. little fun nibbles there. With, did you use the whole grains um, for the pita yep. and yep. even the the rice cake? Tuna, yep. um, and of course, fruit. Is your exactly. Best so, yeah, cutting up the sandwiches in fun shapes uh -huh. for the little ones. Like My that. 13 year old would probably be eh, about that. But, <laughs> um, but uh, adding in the fruit, you've got the fiber to yes. last you and that good sugar for brain food to get them through the day. All this info you can catch at the uh, Learn to Thrive event with Kaiser. It's coming up on September 7th, 11 to 2 at the Westfield Gallery. The best thing about it, it is free to get the knowledge. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, this thank you for having me. Good it's stuff. Been great. All right, guys, thank you. back over to you. Thank you. Elk Grove High School is well known for its top-notch ag